Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to RTFM. In other words, read the manual. <laughs> All right, so I had a couple of you guys tell me in the comments that uh, you do indeed dry leaves in the tanning rack um, and to read the book, and it would tell me that, and you're absolutely right. Um, so um, the reason I kind of stopped thinking it was a tanning rack was because um, if I click on the book, it says craft an area tanning rack. So I'll try to remember that for future. Because remember, this mod is way different than vanilla. Not used to, to to the changes, and sometimes it just throws me off. But the other thing in my defense, okay, was when I looked in here in the last episode, it was on the resources filter, and I didn't think to turn it you know, to the food filter, which if you do, then there you go. It shows you that you can make the dried leaves as well as uh, some jerky and survival mix and stuff uh, in there. So uh, I went out and picked a whole bunch of uh, chrysanthemum and some goldenrod, as well as did my morning fishing session. I had like something like 23 or 24 worms, and I only managed 14 fish on eight prawns. So it was kind of sucked and had some bad RNG, but it is what it is, right? Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and dry this stuff here, and we'll get the goldenrod leaves dried as well. Then we can make the tea, and then we are in business. All right, and uh, while we're waiting for that, let's also... Oh, look at all the water I made. Nice. Uh, let's get this fish in the fish and the prawns cooked up. Do I have some extra prawns? Yeah, I have some extra prawns in there, too. I think we need five per, so we'll put that prawn back. And uh, I am, like, r pretty much out of wood, so I'm just using coal for the moment. Uh, you guys also reminded me in the comments that I can... Um, I can get coal from just mining boulders, uh, which is another thing that I'm just not used to because here again, you know, vanilla doesn't work that way. But, um, oh, how many prawns does it take to make grilled? Oh, right here. No, not grilled, charred. No, what? Yeah, here. It takes f four. Okay, so I thought it took five. So we're still one shy, um, even with those. Okay, so um, let's see. Let's grab these right now, and then oh, I guess we're to, we have to do that in here too, right? No, no, coffee maker, coffee maker, right? Okay, coffee maker, red tea. There you go. All right, all of our food and beverage problems have been solved, finally. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Okay, so yep, live and learn, right? Live and learn. Um, uh, next time I get stumped in this mod, which will probably be in about five freaking minutes from now. I'll try and remember to read the book. Okay, so uh, today's episode plan is to go back to the um, the pawn shop and keep looking for a hammer because we've got to find a hammer in order to make the workbench, uh, which is what our next part of the quest is. Uh, we also need to continue killing Zika Ruskies because um, we're getting really close. Actually, we're getting very close uh, in our next level, and then we can take Living Off the Land 2 which will then allow us to build the farm table and, pro, you know, progress uh, with that part of the quest. So, yeah, that is to the plan for today's episode. Let's look at all that beautiful fish. Oh, so good. Uh, we'll eat that right now. Um, I got a couple things in here to smelt. Uh, we have 117 iron ingots, too. Isn't that uh, pretty amazing? Uh, so let's put the, that in there, turn that on, and get that stuff smelted down. I got over 4,000 clay um, into the forge now uh, so we're doing good there i uh, did did a bunch of digging last night uh, to get the the worms and stuff so uh, we also need i believe nine more mechanical parts because uh, we need a total of 20 we have 11 so we'll be looking for that the forged iron's covered uh, the wood uh, we should be getting some more nails um the vice we have the cordage is not that difficult to to get so um you know and i noticed in here too you can actually make a vice in here and it's like super cheap it's like 25 stone, 7 lead, and 10 clay. I mean, super, super cheap. But I think I got that, if I recall, from taking apart, uh, like, one of the workbenches, I think it was. So, okay, cool. Let's see here. Let's see what's going on in here. So we got our four red tees. Um, let's, okay, so we're still working on chrysanthemum. Let's just keep making more red tea. Red tea never looks so good, man. I'll tell you what. Never looked so good. All right, uh, let's grab the rest of the food out of here. We can turn this off to save a piece of coal. I'm going to put the rest of the water jars in here for now. 
and I'll finish making the rest of the tea um, overnight. Um, so, yeah, we'll just let this finish up, and then uh, I'll make the goldenrod and the rest of this tea later. Uh, so we'll just take what we currently have available, which is five teas, which should be good enough today. Plus, we still have a coffee left, too. Um, and our hydration's actually not in bad shape even now. Uh, so let's drink one of these right now. Let's eat uh, grilled prawns to get our food up, and we should be ready to rock and roll. So we'll put this extra jar in here for now. And Oh, wait a second. I've got two more goldenrod in there. I think you need, need a total of three to make the dried leaves. Okay. I might have put those back in there, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, cool. So we got 13 food. Um, th 13 more food after eating the prawns. Um, should we eat these other prawns? Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's just get everything topped off. Like, for the first time in forever since we started this playthrough, our food and water's actually all the way at the top. <laughs> Not quite, but it uh, seems like it anyway. All right, we'll grab, uh, we'll grab these two, and I uh, think we're good to go. Okay, so we head, we're going to head back to the pawn st store and get inside of there. I've already got some duffel bags backpacks, that sort of thing set up outside the store for us to put our extra loot in because, you know, we're going to get encumbered, of course. And let's hit this uh, car here, too, because we still need some more mechanical parts. Okay, we'll grab those and continue on towards the pawn shop. Come on, stamina. I'm finally starting to feel like we're Finally making progress in this mod, man. I'll tell you what, it's been one hell of a struggle. Look look at that tiny little semi-truck. That is just hilarious. That is hilarious. You think that's funny, Edgar? I think it's funny. Oh, he's angry. You done bleeding? Okay, bleed some more. He's dead. This is an empty semi truck. Alright, we got one more mechanical part out of that. Nothing to write home to mother about, but you know, it's one more than we didn't have before. Okay, so let's just put stuff in here. Any, oh, I should have left my dog on fishing pole back at back of the house. Um, I don't want to. I, I want to make sure that we're not doubling up on stuff. Oh, we have. I, we actually have a few more of those. That's good. Um, so there's there's oil in here. There's iron in there, and empty gas cans in here. Okay, good. Let's put that down there. Let's put this down here so we can block doors, and let's get the hell in here. Uh, one of you guys were telling me in the comments to take that apart, too. I will do that. We will get to that at some point. Okay, so uh, we started clearing this, but we didn't finish. It's very possible that the, the couple of zombies that we did clear have repopped, so, you know, we'll just deal. Here's a water cooler. What you got inside, Mang? Some nice, fresh mineral water. Some nice, fresh, not a damn thing. That's what you got. Not a damn thing. All right, let's move over through here. See what's in the register. There's a biker right up there on the shelf. How do you get up on the shelf? That's what I want to know. A little cache there. Okay, so he's staying up there for the moment. Uh, we have to watch above us, too, because lots of Zeke's in the ceiling in this place. Nothing. Okay. OK, 
Okay, what's up? There's a cash register. Some more bank. All right. Oh, I was just going to say, let's give this guy um a whack in the head. Ah, you can't get through, can you? <laughs> yeah, hopefully he'll hit on the 20,000 hit point steel bar and not my little thing over there. Oh, shit. So much for that idea. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh well. Here, take another bleed. He's angry. Who asked your opinion? Here. Oh, she tried to take a whack at us from... Oh, she's running. Okay, we need to get another bleed off on Biker Billy. Oh, shit. Thought she was going to hit me. Okay, another bleed on you. Okay, she's dead. He's probably getting close. Biker Billy's a lot tougher than Marlene's. Okay, he did. Oh, good. We got our extra point. Okay, cool. So that means we can make the farm table when we get back to the ranch. We got a group of them closing in on us. We might as well kill them. Because if we don't, they're going to harass us anyway. And we'll get the XP for the kills. Man, they're try trying to take long swipes at me today. What's up with that? I have a pitchfork sandwich. Okay, he did. I love this pitchfork, man, but we're starting to run out of durability. Okay, let's see if we can get back inside without attracting their attention. Uh, we need to be harvesting this stuff, too, for nails. We have to come up with a hundred frickin' nails for that workbench. Well, that got everybody's attention. All right, come here. Come here, Arlene. Come here, Arlene's. <laughs> oh, shit. That's hilarious. They're like, I don't know, they're, they're like giggling with zombie glee because they think they're going to eat old guy brains, I guess. That's why they do that. Okay, we got Cowboy Bob there. Right. Knocking out the Arlenes. Now let's get Cowboy Bob. Still bleeding, buddy? Yep, he still is. Okay. Now he's dead. We got Ronnie McDonnie over here. He wants in on the action too. Okay, Cowboy Bob's dead. Leave me alone, Ronnie McDonnie. Okay, let's continue on. We're just going to kind of go around this side of the building first. We had um, Biker Billy in that other room. So, yeah, I don't know if we're going to find a hammer in here or not, but, I mean, it's as good of a place as any to look for one, I suppose. Do we need a microwave for stuff? Seems to me like we might actually need one to cook certain things. Can we pick it up whole? If we can pick it up whole, then we'll, we know we need... Nah, see, we're getting parts from it, so we can't pick it up whole. Okay, so I guess we don't need it for uh, for anything in particular. Uh, we should get some mechanicals off of it. Oh, wait! Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
We did get a whole microwave, and we got parts in the process. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, we got mechanical parts off of this. Nice. And a little leather to boot. Okay, let's go in here. And there's a medical thing up there on the top. Man, it's been a long time since I've been in Vic's pawn shop. Been a long while. A hot minute. Okay, some jars and give us some band-aids, some first aid bandages. All right, well, we can take that too. All right, so I guess that's it for in here. Do we get mechanicals off of this? We get wires, electricals, but no mechanicals. Okay. Try to be somewhat conservative with my wrench because I only have one repair kit after this one, you know, goes down. All right, let's go back outside and drop off um, our current load because we are kind of encumbered right now. Um, hmm. I don't want to fight him when I'm super encumbered, so let's just quickly throw stuff in here. I'm not going to try and sort it. Because we need to be able to run when these guys decide to speed up on us. Okay, here. Go away. So we're four things encumbered now. Your skill in athletics has increased. Okay, so she's dead. Let's give both of these guys a little blood action there. Bleeding action, I should say. Get back over here quick. And just dump a few more things in here really fast. Without worrying about what's going where. Shit. Oh, he's a fast mover, man. That's why he got to me so fast. Let's hit you again. That guy's really cruising. All right, he did. Okay, here, let's get this stupid thing out of the way. All right, now, uh, let's pull everything back out of here. And just want to make sure everything's consolidated because we don't have a ton of space here, right? Uh, so we'll put the microwave in there. We'll put, we're not even going to take the sticks at all. Uh, but the money, the gas cans, the water, nails, this we're going to scrap for consolidation purposes. That can go in there. That can go in there. Uh, all right. And then in the next bag, we will do the jar, the headlight. You know what? We don't need the jar. We've got plenty of jars. That, that, and that, and that, and that. And then in this one, we'll put this, this, and... I don't want to put my fishing pole in there because if I do, I'm going to forget that it's in there and leave it here, even though I do actually have another fishing pole. Let's have some fish because we can and we kind of need to. And let's have some red tea because we can also. I'll chuck the jar. Okay, I think we're good. Let's keep continue on here. So we got around to here. Let's just finish the front of the store first before we go uh, behind. All right. And continue to keep our eyes up above for zombies that might want to rain down on our head. We already have luckies. In fact, we're wearing our luckies. Tank top. Is that... What am I wearing now? No, the pink shirt is better than the tank top. I mean, the tank top is probably better for hot weather, but... That is the least of my concerns right now. What is in here? Charred white meat. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take the coal too, actually. Now, here again, is this something we need, actually need to cook in? Let's just see if we get it whole. It did not look like we got it whole. No, I do not see a Weber grill in my inventory. Okay, let's check that. We're gonna check that. We're gonna check that. We're gonna. We're just gonna. We're not taking stuff that's easily gotten elsewhere because space is so limited. All right, cool. So we got through that side. We have a suitcase here. 
Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, we'll take that and leave the rest of that. What's in here? Come on, give me a meat stew or something. That would be wonderful. A couple of worms and some vinegar. Okay, I'll take that too. It's useful. Not sure what we use vinegar for, but I'm sure we'll find out at some point. You know, Zomba's right up above us. There is another coffee maker, but I don't think we need two coffee makers. Nothing inside it. And a toaster. Oh, is a toaster something we need? What the hell? Flour. Oh. Is this something we need to cook with? Yes, we got a whole toaster. Okay. So we got that. So we're getting good stuff here out of a Vix Pawn and Loan. So far, so good, right? Okay, let's move over to here. Get rid of the crap on the floor. Uh, we've got some kind of a chest up here and a cash register. Okay, let's rip this off. I wonder if the gas grill is something we need to harvest. We're going to find out. A commercial toity. How about a pistol? Does Ravenhurst give you toilet pistols? No, it just gives you shit. <laughs> okay. Okay, check the gas grill. I just uh, recently had to order some new grates for my gas grill in real life. It came from Amazon. They're sitting out in the hallway waiting for me to put them on and then grill something. Okay, so does this give us anything good? Yeah, we got a mechanical part. Okay, that's what we need. Excellent. That would give us electrical parts, but we don't really need those right now. And again, because we want to be conservative with our wrench, uh, we're not going to do anything with it right now. Okay, let's go down this aisle. Look up above, make sure nothing's going to drop on us. Ooh, we got a bookshelf. What are the chances, ladies and gentlemen? What are the chances of us finding a hammer schematic in this bookshelf? Come on, come on, win the lottery, win the lottery. What the hell? <laughs> that lottery sucked. All right, anything in this? Nope, there usually isn't anything in those things. Okay, so that covers the front floor. Now we need to do the side rooms and the attic. But once again, oh, there's a friend in there. Uh, once again, we are super encumbered, so we got to go out and offload. I have a feeling if I wrench that tire, we might get something out of it, but let's not worry about that right at the moment. Okay, so let's see. We got coinage. We've got electrical parts. Uh, I guess I don't have any electrical parts. Uh, wire, brass, or nails. We got brass. Okay. Iron mechanicals. So we have enough mechanicals now, which is good. You know, I don't need this, so I'm going to scrap it. Um, paper, plastic, leather, we don't need this. Okay. Oh, wait. Do we have iron in both of these? No, we don't. Okay, we're good. And pipes, screws, we'll put this, 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 that, flour, toaster. We'll put the toaster in there, put the flour in there, and I think that's everything. Oh. We don't need these. We could sell them for... No, we can't sell. Doggone it. We can't sell a damn thing. Um, I don't need two of these. I already have them. We're getting rid of them. That's kind of a sucky situation. Why the hell did he change it so we can't sell? I don't understand, man. I don't understand. Okay, let's go into the back room next. So we'll come back around this way. Get ready for something jumping out at us. Okay, nobody right here. Let's see what's in the janitor's cart. Yeah, we'll take that stuff. I figured that might wake somebody up. Hey, cut that out. Rude bastards.
going to be a sad day when my pitchfork breaks. I really like this pitchfork. Awesome. Okay, where's that other zombo at? Well, there you are, Marlene. Just kind of taking a leisurely stroll in the pawn shop. Man, you are not in a hurry, are you? That's okay with me. You know, you got something on your face. Actually, you're, you're missing part of your face. Yeah, she ugly. There's another Marlene over that way. Okay, she, this Marlene's dead. Okay, let's go back in through here. Okay, so let's continue on. Those zombos um, were probably back in one of these stalls, or maybe both of them were. There's some dirty water. Let's get rid of this. More dirty water. Man, what the hell? Cheap ass uh, looting today. The RNG is just not with me. All right, let's hop up here. Make sure nobody's going to jump on our head. Grab this for the nails. Okay. I have a backup axe here. Hopefully it'll last us for the rest of uh, this, uh, this episode. I don't see anything that way. Okay, that's one way to get up into the attic. Ooh, there's a say. Uh, I do have some lockpicks back at the base, so we can come back here. Oh, nice. Okay. So if we... Use this or read it, it should open up two more slots for us. Look at that. Beautiful. What am I wearing on my head? I'm wearing an almost nearly broken football helmet. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's just scrap that for the leather. Those are BDU pants. What are we currently wearing? Seven and four, nine and nine. Yeah, these are these are better. Okay, so we'll scrap these. Uh, let's take this apart for the mechanical parts and the leather, um, and well, and the cloth too. Okay, so yeah, I'll have to try and remember to come back here for that. Um, yeah, let's get the brass from this. Brass, electric parts, wires, light bulbs. We got a lot of stuff out of that. Um, okay, so we still have a another back room on the other side, but since we have a pathway up here now, let's just take it. So, does any of this open up here? I don't think so. What's that? A purse. Put some iron arrows. Nice. Let's pick this up and we'll put it out in front to hold more of our crap. Okay. No, I think the fat loots are back that way. No Zeke so far. Um, so we're encumbered by eight points. I think we can jump this. Yeah, 
Got it. <laughs> there's there's really like no Zeeks up here at all. Did we already aggro all of them? I thought there was a lot more zombies up here. Hmm. Let's go around this way. Um, jump there. Jump there. Jump there. There's something. There's something right there. Oh, it's just the base of that. Sounds like. There is a Zeke over here. Oh shit! Ha ha! Go away, sucker. <laughs> okay, so this floor should be good. Some salt and some arm thingies. Pick this up to put out in front. Isn't there supposed to be like a bunch of fat loot here? Am I confused? We've covered the whole attic, right? I thought there was like a bunch of end loot in this little room here. Unless I'm confused, which is very possible. I mean, there's nothing over that way. There's a backpack over that way. I can't really get to it from here. Could try and jump to that piece, but I don't know. It's probably not worth it. Probably got, like, one piece of paper in it or something stupid like that. Huh, I could have swore all the fat loots were back in that room we were just in. Apparently that is not the case. I'm maybe I'm confusing this with a different POI. That's probably what's happening. Yeah. Okay, well, let's um let's go ahead and That other backpack, I think, was over there, but yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go back through here for a second. This is where we came up. All right. Um, so we're going to run back out this way. I'm going to close that door for a second. Ah, shit. See, here's the problem is I can't... I'm too heavy. I don't have time to stop and drop stuff off. And if she starts running after us, we're in trouble. So let's try something else here. Let's go over here. Put that down. Put that down. I just need enough, a couple of seconds to put stuff in those bags. Just so we're light enough to then... You know, fight these guys. Will you slow down, Fatso? You're going way too fast. It's, moving that quickly is hard on your heart. You don't want to have a heart attack. Be bad for your health. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Oh, shit! <laughs> okay, now I can at least move. Okay, I'm thinking we should probably take a pain pill since we now have beverage to counter the the bad effect. So let's do that. Let's actually drink the coffee so we have a little extra stamina boost while we're fighting these yahoos. And bleed them up. Oh shit! I got a double whammy hit there. Not cool. Not cool at all. Oh, oh, wow. Wow, okay. Thank God I'm not bleeding. 
<laughs> that did not work out so well, did it? Okay, we got to get some stamina back before we piss anybody else off and get them running at us. Wow. Okay. Um. That was not good. I'm just saying. We cannot get hit. One more hit and we're dead. We're getting somebody else's attention? Of course we are. This is Ravenhurst. What did you expect? Let's get a whack on Steve and let's get a whack on Steve. We need to start moving back towards the other ones. You guys just slow down, please, for a second. All right. That janitor just wants to book it, doesn't he? Okay, those guys are dead. Let's get uh, Billy Biker and Marvelous Marlene there. Okay, neither one of those guys are sprinting at us. Okay, you... You're the one of the ones that hit me, man, you son of a bitch. You hit like a Mack truck. Okay. Alright, I don't remember who's got bleed who had previous bleed applications or not. So let's just stand here, get some stamina back, see what happens. Okay, he's down. Marlene, are you gonna die? Okay, she's running. Okay, she dead. Alright. Come here, dude. Okay, Billy Biker's not even chasing us anymore. But we know we got one bleed application on him. Okay, Fatso's got to be going down any time now. Well, I think he's going to. He is tough, man. Okay, he just died. Whew. And he's dead, too. Okay. I think we're back to some semblance of normalcy here. Um, Let's pull this out and set it down. Okay, so all of this stuff has been sorted over here. So let's see. We don't want cans. We do want nails. Uh, electrical parts and wires can go in there. Money and water. We're not keeping jars. Okay, paper can go there. Headlights, oil, mechanicals, screws. I don't see any of that in here. Um, there's iron, though. Pipes. Yeah, we got a pipe there. Oh, da, 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 da. Okay, nothing else in there. Okay, so this one can be filled with new stuff. Don't we already have nails and, and brass? Yeah, we have brass in here. Oh, we've got broken nails, not whole nails. Okay. I see. Um, I don't think we need the bowl. Got a bunch of those back at the base. Okay, yeah, our health is bad. Really bad. Really, really, really bad. So we're going to take another one of these. We're also going to eat some fish. And we're going to drink a red tea. And we'll probably have to drink another red tea before it's all said and done. And let's also eat one more fish. All right, that's getting us, that's getting us back up. Not all the way up, but... It's working. Oh, we have uh, cloth and more mechanical parts. So we're keeping those in there. I thought I threw the cloth out. Yeah, I was throwing cloth out, wasn't I? Okay, let's go back in. Uh, so we've basically finished the upper floor. We finished the lower floor. We just haven't been back into this area here. We were in this room earlier. 
Oh, no, actually, were we? No, we weren't in this. Ooh, nice. Ammo pile. We weren't in this room. We were in the room behind here. Oh, nice. Dude, that's going to come in handy. We've got our own junkie now. Damn. Nice. That's going to really help. Okay. Got an actual junkie. I think we finished everything in there. Let's just check this cabinet. Uh, nah. I'm not taking that shit. Okay. All right. So the last place to check just is... How did I miss that? Seriously? Oh, nice. A bandage. A first aid bandage. I'm going to take that now because we still need more healing. As I always say, one bandage in the hand is better than two zombies in the bush. Or something like that. Did that kill you? Nope. <laughs> Run away. Okay, so we got uh, the attention of Ronnie McDonnie here. You know, it's going to be cool when we actually get a, a decent hunting knife. And then later on a machete. So then we can really put the hurt on these guys. Steve, I'm over here. Quit running. Quit running and die. There you go. Okay, Steve's dead. Skater Punk is still messing around in here after we blundered it, blunder bust him. Where's he at? Is he still back in the gun room? Yep, you sure are. Okay, let's give you another one. That took him out. Steve, aren't you dead yet? Dude. I thought I gave you two bleed applications already. Maybe I only gave him one. I don't know. Or he was just right on the edge there. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go back into the gun area. Uh, yeah. See what's in the desk. Okay. Aren't we already wearing a duster? No, we're wearing college jackets so we can run faster. Yeah, we definitely want to keep that. And there's an ammo pile. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that finishes Vix, Pawn, and Loan. We did not find what we needed to find in here, and that was L Hammer. So, yeah, now what do we do? <laughs> um, I am not aware of any hardware stores in this town. Let's just kind of, here, actually, let's go back here and drop some more things off. I'll have to figure out how I'm going to get all this shit back to the base at some point. Can't do it at nighttime, you know, but. Um, one of these had paper, right? Okay, so you had paper. And I think this is all new stuff. We're going to hang on to it. I'm really ha happy we found a junkie. Now. That's going to help a lot. Especially for, like, blocking doorways and stuff. Okay, so... You know what? There, I think a tool chest can spawn in the fat loots here in the, uh, the coal mine. So let's go check that out. I don't remember if I've already ninja'd that stuff or not. So if I haven't, uh, we have a chance... Okay, yeah, so it doesn't look like I've busted in here because this is st all still intact. Yeah. Okay, let's take another drink of... Quit laughing at me for hitting the I key, you guys. Cut it out. Don't laugh at me. All right. Let's 
faster just to break through here. What? Oh. This thing uses stamina so fast, it's not even funny. What's in the Jeep? Come on, hammer. Jeeps have hammers. Come on. You can do it, game. I have faith. You can do it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't hammer. Okay. Seriously? I can't... Oh, I was going to say, I can't get in there? Are you kidding me? Okay, let's go down here. Be quiet. That door closed. Check the trash. Because you never know what you're going to find in the trash. In this case, jack shit. Well, except for that, which is still not really all that great. Okay, this is... Oh, shoot. These are both shamway crates. Dad, gummit. Well, so much for finding a tool crate down here. We'll open them anyways. We do have a secret stash we can get to. Uh, maybe we'll get some decent food here. Let's see. What you got, Mang? What you got? Uh, oh, okay. That's pretty good stuff, really. Actually, can't complain about that. It's not what we're looking for, but I can't complain about it. What are you going to give us? All right. We'll take that, too. All right. We got ammo pile up here. And then there is a secret stash box underneath this. Hidden stash. All right. Hey, you know what? Not bad. Not bad. So this we have to put on a club. Which we're not actually using. So we'll hang on to that in case we do come across like a nice baseball bat or something, you know, for later on. But uh, I think that's about it. Okay, let's head on out of here. It's uh, getting like late in the day. Um, did, did we already look? Through, I think we already looked in this lumber store, right? Pretty sure we've been through here. Let's um, just bust this part out and take a look see at it real quick. Yeah, I've been in there. Looks familiar. Okay. That's that big creepy place with the with the uh, sneaky person out in front. Um, I have no idea what's in there, but I have a feeling like whatever is in there, we probably am not uh, are not in a place where we can handle it. So, uh, yeah, we've pretty much covered this entire town. So. I guess, oh, you know, we could see if the trader has, has reset. There's a deer. All right, let's see if we can kill this deer. She saw us. All right, All right. whatever. Um, I mean, it's always possible the trader could have a hammer for sale. Uh, but let's go back to our loot skis. Uh, I want to just grab the, I want to grab the nails and the mechanical parts in particular, because that's what we need for our, our workbench. And then I'll figure out, you know, maybe I'll come back here in the morning or something before I start the next episode and grab the rest of that stuff. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll grab that stuff. No promises, man. No promises. Oh, nice. Ergonomic grip and some more screws. We can get nails out of that. Uh, but I think I'm going to let you guys go here. And um, I will go back to the base, get... Um, some inventory management done. I might even actually try to what 
time is it? Yeah, I might, I might be able to come back here. Oh, you know what? We got this. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take that. Glad I thought about that. Okay, now we should be able to take damn near all of this stuff with us. Really glad I thought to use that. Okay, we almost can take everything with us. Um, is there anything? What is that? Oh, it's an apple. Okay, uh, why can't we just eat it straight up? We should be able to just eat it straight up. Is there anything? Here, let's put that there for this. Let's put this here. That we can scrap. Uh, I'd like the arrowheads. We don't need the stone. I'd like the these two things of food, so let's put uh, the flour there for net. Well, we'll probably need the flour for something too, huh? Um, there's another spot right there. Do, do, do. This. In fact, I don't even want that at all. Let's grab the apple, and the, I can live without the rest of the stuff. If I remember to come back and get it later, I will, but I probably won't. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go home, uh, do inventory management, and then, uh, you know, dig up some more clay to make get some more worms so I can do my morning fishing. And then tomorrow, um, I mean, we got to find a hammer, right? That's what we got to do. We got to find a hammer. That's all there is to it. And I, I'm starting to think that's probably not going to happen in this town. So we might need to take a, a little bit of a, of a road trip to, uh, you know, to find a tool store or, other, you know, otherwise try and figure out some way to come up with, with a hammer. So that is a plan. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, share out the video, leave a like, comment, all that kind of stuff. I think there's any chance in hell we can actually kill this buck. Look at him jump up on the car there. I'm actually shooting over his head. What in the hell? <laughs> okay, whatever. Just go away, but oh. He did. He went in the house. Uh, in the house. In the booby trap. We could trap him. Ooh, we might have some deer steak tonight. No, no, no. Come back over here, dear. I'm so in. Why? Why am I still encumbered? Even with. Wait. What? How am I encumbered with the stuff? You know the steroids. It shows me I'm ten points encumbered. Maybe the steroids don't have the full effect here in the mod. But anyway, I am, um, I've got a tunnel here that goes way, way back there. Uh, well, not way, way, way back there, just kind of way back there. Uh, that I'm, I'm kind of digging out overnight if there's no Zika Ruskies around. Um, and so I'll do some more of that after I get my inventory management done. And then in the next episode, we'll figure out what we're going to do. Uh, but we've got to find a hammer. That's really what we need to do. Oh, we can make the farming table now. Um, so we'll, so we'll work on that too. Uh, let's see, we want to go to here, and we want to get living off the land, too. And so we can continue that quest, too, but we'll we'll start that uh, at the beginning of the next episode, okay? All right, that's it, bye.